Hi guys! Oh, goodness. So, um, I wanted to do... It's pretty long overdue, and I've filmed it bunches of times, but I just, um... Yeah, I, I, I keep buying stuff, and so it gets delayed. Um, and I'm talking about a haul video. And so basically this is gonna span from before Christmas until now, and it's the 25th of January. And I feel like I picked up just a good amount of stuff. Um, spent a little bit more than I probably should have. I don't even have an excuse, really, do I? Anyway, so I guess I'll just go in the order that I purchase things. Actually, you know what? No order at all, and I'm not even going to really talk about the product. I'm just going to really show it, and if you want to know anything else, absolutely, I will do a video on it. Or And, and I think my uh, end of the month products video is going to come up pretty soon, so I'll talk about that, go into a little bit more depth. But I'm just going to go with the order that I see things, okay? So I recently did an Illamasco order because they were having a huge sale and they never really do that and that's what makes it really worth it, it ordering it because you do have to get it from, um, it ships from England and so you have to pay, you know, pretty extensive shipping um, but they had things for like 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds and I was able to get this, the um, liquid metal, 4 color liquid metal palette and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Now mind you, I had to top it with some eyeshadows because it, on its own it doesn't really stay. The go or the green didn't at least, but the gold seemed to. This was from the, well, the shade is 02. It comes with these really beautiful colors, and I've always wanted to try liquid metal because I've always thought it looks pretty cool, but it says for, uh, clockwise from top left, stoic solstice, um, superior, and resolute. This color itself is just gorgeous. I love like red colors like this. Um, liquid metal and electrum, which looks very similar to solstice now that I'm kind of realizing. Well, that's nice. It's nice. I guess it's a little bit of a darker. And then the eyeshadow in Never, which I used to line my eyes, said matte navy blue, which I do not have and I've wanted for forever. Um, two Rimmel lipsticks, the lasting finish from the Kate Moss collection, but they came out with a matte version. So 102 is a nice pink, and I actually hate pink, so you guys know it's got to be good. Uh, 109, which is a nice, it looks like uh, MAC Ravishing or Revlon Strawberry Suede. Um, this mascara, this YSL mascara in number 6, the Mascara Singulier. It's a nice rich plum. And I got this for like $6 at a D D C F C C or DF and CCO, Designer Fragrances and Cosmetics Company. I just saw the, the bag. And I guess more from there. Um, this was a... Um, Color, color design, five color palette in Sky Demure. And I mean, these colors are gorgeous. It's because I was getting my mom um, a Christmas present. I got her a lipstick, a Lancome lipstick. The I think it's called Nude Lip or something like that, or Pale Lip is what it was called. Anyway, I paid $10 for that. And this eyeshadow called um, Mini Dress, which was like th $3, I'm not even kidding. It looks just like um, melon pigment, but a little bit less intense and dark. It's a lot lighter. This Calvin Klein press powder, because I don't have a press powder in my shade. It also has SPF in it. I got the shade 300 Sand. It's really nice. It kicks up a lot of powder, but it is good. It gives you pretty good coverage, considering. Uh, two Real Techniques brushes. The setting brush, which I love, and the brow comb or lash brow groomer, because my one from Crown Brush, don't even know where it went. Shit broke. Don't know how it managed to break, but it broke. Uh, Dermalogica Gentle Cream Exfoliant because I wanted to try it for forever. I wanted to try a non-abrasive, um, like non-physical exfoliator. This one's a chemical one with enzymes and things like that and lactic acid. Then I got this gift with purchase, Special Cleansing Gel, Daily Microfoliant, and the um, Total Eye Care. I can tell you right now the da Daily Microfoliant turns from like a paste, with like a, a gritty paste into like cream. It's kind of annoying because it doesn't feel like it's exfoliating at all. Uh, Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express. I really absolutely love this. I did a picture on Instagram of what my lashes look like before and after and it's an obvious difference. This is, it does clump pretty easily but it is wonderful. This Rimmel Lash Accelerator Serum. I started using this before Christmas and I've been using it pretty consistently since and my lashes definitely have gotten longer. I don't know about thicker, but longer. They do tend to flake off a little bit more now. I keep getting them in my eye, which is kind of annoying. Um, from the 
the CCO. I paid $25 for this rather than 30 I think it's 30 or 35 the Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. Not as good as the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, which I'm actually wearing right now, which is my Friday foundation because I want to look good, you know. This doesn't have as much coverage. It doesn't have, um, the finish is a little bit off. Um, and it's just like, I kind of actually like the Chanel one a little bit more. Even if the Chanel one, ingredient-wise, is not as good as this one, I like the Chanel one a little bit more. This, which I mentioned in my, um, video for... This video is probably not going to go up until a couple days from now, because I do have two other videos to upload. Um, but you probably saw this in, like, the train case video, um, this Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation. As I said, I got one, um, in my shade, which is 330 Sand, and I love it for myself and love it for everybody else. It's definitely excellent, and $5. Even though, you see that? 50% off. I paid $2.50 for this. Balls insane, I know. Alme Wake Up Makeup, or Wake Up Liquid Makeup. Got the shade 40 neutral. It's a tad dark, but it could work really well in the summer. This does have a nice glow to it. The glow kind of fades throughout the day. It does have a little bit of a shimmer if you look at it in the light, but um, just in daily or basic lighting in inside, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, and my face doesn't feel refreshed at all when I put this on, but the pump is good and it's nice, glowy, and pretty, and it does last. The foundation doesn't like wear off. The finish wears off, but the foundation doesn't wear off throughout the day. Revlon Nearly Naked is a little bit of a glowier version than L'Oreal True Match. They feel pretty much identical when I'm working with them. Um, although this one, like I said, does have a little bit more of a glowy finish. It's essentially the same idea, I think. Uh, Vichy Aqualina Thermal Sunscreen 24 Hour Hydrating Fortifying Lotion SPF. 30. Um, I don't have a day moisturizer with sunscreen in it. I only have ones without sunscreen. And so I figured this will be good if I'm going to be inside all day and I know it and I don't need like SPF 55. Um, this is good because my usually I have wear a foundation with an SPF and this has SPF in it and it gives me adequate coverage for being indoors all day. The longest time I'm outside is like five minutes walking to my car. Um, and this is really nice. Like the smell is, Scott Fragrance is like one of the last things on the list, but it is so nice. It feels so good on the skin, and it hydrates wonderfully, and it just makes your skin feel smooth, and mm, it's not horribly expensive either. I got it from Walgreens because they recently got Lil Roche, Pose, and Vichy, so that's exciting. Um, again, in that other train case video, Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. Uh, as I said, I have the shade Nude. I'm not wearing this one today. I wore it yesterday, but um, yeah, definitely excellent. Love it. Can't speak highly enough about it. Um, and then I did a really gigantic, huge e.l.f. haul, which I don't want to mention because I mentioned pretty much every product that I got in um, that train case video. So if you see really any e.l.f. products in there, it's I probably bought it recently. But I do actually have some of them sitting here with me. Uh, I got two of the eyeshadow brushes because they're really nice and basic. I like brushes like these. You guys know that. Um, and then also the... Uh, I got the... whatever it's called. The eyelash and brow wand, which compared to the Sonia Kashuk one, it's quite a bit smaller, which I kind of like. So I might get a couple more of these. Um, and then also the, if it's not escaping me, which it looks like it is. Oh, here we go. Just kidding. I never even used it. The smudge brush, which looks like the one, the other eyeshadow brush, just smaller. I also forgot to mention I did get this too from Ulta. It's the Essence, uh, gel eyeliner brush, but it's just a really thin angled brush, which I like to use for eyeshadow as eyeliner or for liquid liner, or not liquid liner, but cream liner, etc. Um, I feel like I'm like forgetting a couple things. Actually, no, I think that's it. Other than some clothes and the Simple Life on DVD season two, I think it was. Um, and I got some Bath and Body Works candles, which they stopped making the hot chocolate one, so I kind of want to just attack them, but, um, yeah, I think that's essentially it. If you want any more details, it'll probably be in the next video, or just ask me and I will talk about them individually, or be sure to mention them in a video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I bought a little bit too much, but things were on, uh, mostly things were on sale, so it doesn't justify it, but still. Um, so yeah, and I kind of actually really like how this liquid metal look kind of turned out. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Got what got my camo and my... Lily Munster shirt on today. I'm just rocking and rolling. Oh, and this watch. I bought this watch before Christmas from Fossil. It was like a, with a, I don't know what his first name is, but Stark. I think he's an architect. And um, this was really inexpensive, and I got my dad one too, so 
yeah okay well that is everything for this video that I can think of as of now um and I will talk to everybody later bye guys